Good morning, it's Sandy with Designs by Sandy G. And I just wanted to do a quick little video. I saw this on uh, somebody's post and I thought, well, I'd go ahead and do it and, and share it with everybody. Um, this is the N95 mask that everybody is so desperately in need of. And this is the one that really helps keep everything out and in. And I happened to find one in my paint uh, supply. I used it once when I was uh, taking down popcorn ceiling. So I've got one mask. So I saw this story and it's about how to make your own DIY mask. Bottom line, test data shows that the best choices for DIY masks are cotton t-shirts, pillowcases, or other cotton materials. These materials filter out approximately 50% of the 0.2 micron particles, similar in size to the coronavirus. I believe that the coronavirus is 0.1, I think that's what I read. They are also as easy to breathe through as surgical masks, which make them more comfortable enough to wear for several hours. Doubling the layers of material for your DIY mask makes giving, gives a very small increase in fil filtration effectiveness, but makes the mask much more difficult to breathe through. So doubling up isn't as good. So doing it with a paper towel, you can use, so what we're gonna do is paper towel, rubber bands, and staples, and it works beautifully. So um, having the, the napkin is probably the least effective, but if that's all you have in the house and that's all you can put your hands on, it's better than having the open mouth. When you're wearing these masks, it's not in it, and it's not so much gonna keep you from getting the virus, but it will help you from spreading it. So if you're coughing or breathing or sneezing or whatever, it's staying with you a little better. It's helping that, that process. Um, so the, the paper towel that everybody has been hoarding is, is, is a great thing for this. So you take the one, you know, the pull apart where it's a half a paper towel, and all you do is fold it like an accordion. Right? See that? Simple. And then you take your rubber band, and I got a big bag at Walgreens for like, I don't know, four bucks. And the thing is, is once you throw your mask away, you can keep using it. Just take the rubber band and use it over and over again. And again, this isn't, and you know, I hope everybody, I'm just trying to be a little helpful. I don't really need to hear that this isn't right or wrong or whatever. I read about it, I'm sharing it. You can believe it, use it, not use it. You know, it's up to you. But I'm just sharing what I learned. So here you've got your little mask ready to go. And you just pull the accordion apart. Well, maybe you want to pull the accordion apart first. There you go. Fits nicely over the nose. Pull it down under your chin. Now, if it's not really tight, you can take a little piece of tape and put it right here just to hold it on place. But right now, this feels pretty good. I use smaller band-aid. So see, easy as can be. That's all you have to do. So you've got the little least effective mask. Then, you step up to the Hanes t-shirt. I just got these at uh, Target and I got seven shirts for 15 bucks. I can make a ton of masks. I think I did one t-shirt and I made 12 masks out of it. And the best part on the t-shirt is when you use the, the rim on the bottom, that helps hold it under the chin, but it's not necessary. So then here, here's the one with the, let's see if I can get this right, with the cotton. So see, and you can use tighter ones if you want to pull it a little tighter, but you can breathe fine through it. It's, it's easy as can be. And, and there is, it took two staples, two rubber bands and a piece of t-shirt. So what I did with the t-shirt is I, you know, just took a piece of that paper towel, measured it on the t-shirt and, and cut around it. So there you go. A uh, simple little thing that you can do to help all of us, help you, help your family. And you know, and, and it's also good for people that have asthma. And we have so much pollen in here in Jacksonville right now. And that's why I sound the way I do because of this darn pollen. So um, it's not a bad thing to have around all the time, coronavirus or not. So I hope you find this helpful. Sandy G with Designs by Sandy G. Thank you so much.